Welcome. In this video, we will walk through the steps of configuring the DOM Trader. First, click on the DOM Trader to ensure that it is the window in view. Then click Setup and Trading Preferences. Here is the location where you can modify the look and functionality you need on your DOM Trader. First, we have different choices of color themes that you can apply, a total of eight. Down here, you can move the columns to the locations you want them on the DOM Trader. Now in this group, you can display elements on the DOM Trader and choose the features you want. For example, show volume on last trade, last trade filled, show recent trade price sequence, that's this up here. You can show the high and the low for the day, highlight your average fill price either as an underline on the DOM, the price ladder, or background, or both. For volume, you can show numeric volume, and you can display the best bid or ask volume as cumulative. You can also have graphs of the volume. For the buy and sell columns, you can show a watermark, have it be the order size, or buy and sell, as well as if you want limit and stop modes. You can color the buy and sell columns. For depth of market, you can choose to color cells that have bids and asks. You can choose to have the combined depth of market, or you want implied only or outright. Finally, on the bottom here, there is a Greek column for options, and you could decide if you want when trading options to show the Greeks. Moving up here, we can remove the minimize button, giving you more uh, space for the DOM trader if you wanted to have multiple DOM traders. We can remove the tabs. We have responsive or dynamic scale available. Show the split market compression tool, which is if the gap between the bid and the ask is very large, you can compress that gap. This is where you turn on fast click mode. Enable sweep mode is used if you want to, uh, for example, lift a number of offers. Here's where you can choose to display the buy and sell market buttons, the inside market buttons where you can join the bid, join the ask. Here you can configure the order size buttons. You can have them along the bottom or along the top, on the left side or the right side. Cancel buttons to be displayed. Do you wish to see the net change? Do you wish to display cumulative volume? Over here is the heads up display, which you can turn on. Enable manual fills. For example, if you traded in the pits and wanted to have those fills appear also in your orders and positions window, you can decide if you'd like to highlight digits in the price scale. Do not reset price scale after action. Do you want your open trade equity to just simply be OTE or do you want an OTE and today's profits and losses? Calculate the OTE using uh, trade. The strategy choices apply only to the integrated client. For options, you can select the options model, choose the style of buttons, and choose the colors. Next is price display. Enter the number of digits you want displayed. Enter the number of digits to highlight. Next is notifications. Here's where you can turn off notifications every time you place a trade. The notifications will not open. You can decide if you want it for a single account or if you have more than one account. Here, choose which pop-ups you would like to have open, such as when you have an order filled or an order is partially filled. You can choose to have the trading background change colors on fills. You can have alerts. You can choose the alert. So for example, a ding, and you can test it. And down here, we have prompt for cancel on log off. 
if you check this, what will happen is if you quit QTrader or CQGIC and you have any working orders, you will be prompted and asked if you want to cancel those working orders. Next is where you can set your risk. Again, you can do it by symbol or by all accounts. You can set your maximum order size, maximum position size. These are limited though to what your FCM risk parameters are. Here's where you set the quantities in your order buttons. Here's where you set your default order size and a second default order size. And you have a choice if you want to reset order size to default after placing an order. Here we have limits and stops. So for example, if you were to place a buy stop over the market, you may want it to be a limit unless it's two or more ticks above the ask. Default limit types and default stop order types. Here we have CQG smart orders. We'll be walking through the smart orders in a separate video. Very popular features on CQG such as the DOM triggered stops, brackets, and trailing stops. And then finally keyboard keys. For those traders who like to trade out their keyboard using the arrows, that sort of thing, this is where you can learn which keys work where. If you'd like to explore more of these features, go up and click on the question mark. Then click on the DOM trader. The QTrader help will open. And if you need immediate assistance, click on the support toolbar button, then live chat, and you'll be connected to a CQG support person. This concludes our video. For more information about CQG products and services, please visit CQG.com.